Well, marijuana dispensaries are opening up in New York State. Just last week, Long Island and Syracuse seeing their first cannabis stores, but unlicensed dispensaries are also popping up across the state. News 10 ABC's Zion Dakota explaining tonight what the state is doing to crack down on unregulated businesses. You're looking at a video of Office of Cannabis Management agents seizing product from an unlicensed dispensary in New York City. This location, one of 11 businesses facing violations in the city this past week. You know, when you also don't have a, a licensed business that's abiding by the state regulations, uh, there there's concerns that there's um, laxer enforcement in terms of purchasing of uh, purchasing the products from people who are 21 years of age and older, um, and making sure that really the cannabis products are going to the people that are legally allowed to, to purchase and have them. The OCM and the Department of Taxation will adopt new measures, such as criminalizing the sale of cannabis products and creating a new tax fraud crime for vendors that knowingly fail to collect or pay required cannabis taxes. So why exactly is unlicensed cannabis an issue for consumers? Brandon Kurtzman of Vicente Law Firm's New York office says it's a safety issue because consumers won't know where their product is coming from and it might get into the wrong hands. You don't know where it's coming from and, and you don't know um, whether it's been tested and whether it meets the, the testing requirements that you see, you see in a, a regulated state. How can you tell what dispensaries have a license with tested products? If it, if it doesn't have that sticker from the state or alternatively it has a sticker from the state that's saying that this is an unlicensed business, then the, the consumer would know the, the difference between a, a licensed and unlicensed uh, retailer. Storefront inspections are also a part of the new legislation. Any unlicensed business that continues selling cannabis after being caught may be subject to daily fines maxing out at $20,000 or closure. Reporting in Albany, Zion Dakota News 10, ABC.